Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you, healthy, whole food, no refined sugar, which I love that for us. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a meal prep every Monday in five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I highly, highly recommend those personalized macros macros and calories. That is what I have followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free and we would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making ham, egg, and cheese hash brown muffins. I'm so excited for these. I have a mix of cherries, grapes, and blueberries for fruits for the week. I also have some apples, watermelon, so we're gonna pair this with a fruit. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need half and half hash browns of your choice. You can use frozen, just make sure they're thawed and refrigerated. I love Simply Hash Browns, so I'm going to use those. Eggs, reduced fat shredded cheese, diced ham and salt and pepper. So this recipe makes six muffins. I'm using my big muffin pan. You can use a standard muffin pan. This just allows me a little bit more room to make sure they don't bubble over. And since the recipe make recipe makes six, this is perfect. So we're going to add in our hash browns. We want about a third of a cup per little hash brown container. We're going to press that into the bottom, leaving a little bit of a well. Like two magnets, we are drawn to each other. You just know how to push all my buttons. Move out and then we're going to season our hash browns with a little bit of salt. And these are going into a 425 degree oven for about 15 to 17 minutes. You want to get them partially cooked and a little bit crispy. While the hash brown cups are in the oven, we're going to mix together the eggs. I forgot to tell you that you'll need some garlic powder as well. I missed that originally in the recipe. So I have a medium sized bowl here. I'm going to crack in five eggs. And then two tablespoons of half and half. Look at how cute these lemon measuring spoons are. I got these at Ross. It was a whole set for like $6. They're so cute. I'm adding in two tablespoons of half and half. Some salt and pepper. And garlic powder. And then we're going to whisk that together just until those eggs are scrambled. Now we're going to mix in our diced ham and one cup of light shredded cheese and then mix that together. So I just pulled the hash brown cups out of the oven, reduce your heat to 350 degrees, and then we're going to scoop in the egg mixture. The recipe says to fill it almost full. I'm honestly glad that I used my bigger muffin tin because I'm able to really get in the full amount of everything for these muffins. And then these are going into the 350 degree oven for 15 to 18 minutes or until they're cooked through. Look at how amazing these look. I'm going to allow them to cool, pop them out of the muffin pan, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here are the ham, egg, and cheese, hash brown muffins. These look, like I said, so good. What a perfect breakfast. Carbs, healthy fat, lots of protein. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros on the screen. It makes six servings. A serving is one of the hash brown muffins. For my lunch this week, I'm making a chicken burrito bowl. Let me show you what you'll need. So first I put together my rice already. I have it cooking here in my Dash rice cooker. I bought this on Amazon. I absolutely love this. I'll go ahead and insert the clip here of me making the rice. Basically what it is, is one cup of basmati rice or jasmine rice, whatever your preference. One and a half cups of water, some paprika, cumin, and black pepper. The original recipe calls for cayenne. I omitted that because 
you know I don't really like spicy. So I just throw everything in my dash rice cooker and in 15, 20 minutes I have perfectly cooked rice. You're also going to need chicken breast or chicken tenderloins, low fat Caesar dressing, black beans and corn, and the recipe also calls for arugula and grape tomatoes. I'm going to omit those because I want to be able to heat everything up and then just drizzle my dressing on top. So I'll explain more as we put together the chicken burrito bowls. So I added one pound of chicken tenderloins. Again, you can use chicken breasts, chicken thighs, whatever your preference, to a pan. I'm going to cover it with about an inch of water. Add a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we're just going to boil the chicken until it's cooked completely through, and then we will shred it up. So my chicken is cooked. I'm going to add it to a cutting board, and we're going to shred up the chicken. Find myself calling in the middle of the night And there is nothing I can do I am madly drawn to you I know you feel the same So we're ready to put together our burrito bowls. I have my shredded chicken, my drained and rinsed black beans, my drained corn, and my rice. So we're going to divide the chicken amongst four containers. So you want to add about a quarter of the chicken to each container. And then I'm going to do a third of a cup of black beans, a quarter of a cup of corn, and then a quarter of a cup of cooked rice. And then we'll warm this up each day and then when I go to eat it, I will drizzle over some of the low calorie Caesar dressing. You could also add some avocado to this, cheese, sour cream, whatever your preference is. I do want to say that this rice smells really good with all of those seasonings. So let me put together three more meal prep containers. And here are the chicken burrito bowls. These look absolutely amazing. And again, I'll top it with a drizzle of this low fat creamy Caesar dressing, maybe a tablespoon or so, maybe two. We'll see what I do when I have my lunch. But this is protein, carbs, it's going to be amazing. I may actually add some avocado as well, but it makes four bowls total. I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. So for dessert, a snack, a sweet treat this week, I am making banana bread with chocolate chips. I've been craving banana bread and I love the gooeyness of the chocolate chips. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need all purpose flour, honey, chocolate chips of your choice. These are the Chalk Zero. I just have a mix of dark chocolate and milk chocolate. I just placed another Chalk Zero order. These are so much better than Lily's. They taste like actual chocolate chips. No bitterness, no weird aftertaste. They're absolutely amazing. They melt perfectly if you like to melt your chocolate chips. Highly recommend. I do have a discount code for Chalk Zero. I will link it down below for you. Unsweetened applesauce, salt, baking powder and baking soda, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and then three really ripe bananas. We have a little helper. Are you helping mommy with her meal prep? Or are you waiting for scraps? <laughs> You're probably waiting for scraps. Look how cute you are. So the first thing we're going to do for our banana bread is we need to blend up a few of our ingredients. So I'm using my little Ninja blender. I'm going to add in my three ripe bananas. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of honey, and a quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce. And then we're going to blend this up until smooth. One other thing I wanted to point out about this recipe is there's no refined sugar, which is incredible. So we're going to add the banana mixture to a bowl. Now if you want to make this recipe gluten-free and use oats, you'll want to add your oats to your blender cup and blend all of that together. But I'm just using regular flour. I'm adding two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, cinnamon, salt, and then half a teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder. And then we're going to mix this together until fully combined. And then we're going to fold in a third cup of Chalk Zero chocolate chips. I sprayed my bread pan with some nonstick cooking spray and then we're just going to add 
in the batter. And then we're just going to press it into place. Going into a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until cooked through. I just pulled our banana chocolate chip bread out of the oven. It smells so incredibly delicious. I am going to go ahead and allow it to cool completely. I'll slice it up. I always pre-slice it so that I can stick with the serving. I just can grab a slice and go. And I'll go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing breakfast, lunch, and that banana bread. I can't wait for that. I love that there's no refined sugar in there, but it tastes so sweet and delicious. I can't wait to have it all week. Don't forget all of today's recipes as well as all of my recipes are on my website. I will have that at the top of the description box for you. You'll also find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come and join us. Again, we'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to a successful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.